Number six, what is 40% of 72.5? Let me show you a more algebra way to do this, and that is, we look at this sentence and change that into an equation. To do that, we first notice that we have the word what. That's the unknown. And in algebra, we would like to use the letter x to stand for unknown. So we just put down the x for the word what. And we know x will be equal to, because the word is, it's an equal sign for the rest right here. 40% of 72.5. But then we are about to do some computation. Before we do so, we need to change the percent into a decimal. 40%, how can we change that into a decimal? Notice that we have the 40, that's a whole number. So technically we have 40 with a decimal point right here. But then the percentage symbol tells us to move the decimal point once, twice to the left. That's where the new decimal point is going to be, right here. And I can indicate a zero in front. 40% is going to be 0 0.40 or simply 0 0.4. That's for this. And then the word of, whenever you see the word of by itself, this means we have multiplication. And I'm using a small baby x to stand for multiplication. Okay. And then the 72.5 is just 72.5. No trouble on that. So now the question is only asking us, what is 0 0.4 times 72.5? Remember, we have no calculator, so we have to do this by hand. So to multiply decimal numbers, I can just line out the numbers toward the right, so I can write it down like this. And then we should also, when we set up, put down the number that has more digits on the top, and then the number with less digits on the bottom. So it's going to be like this. I have the 72.5. Let me put that down on the top. And the reason I can do that is that the value of multiplication doesn't matter. So I can put it on the top or on the bottom. doesn't really matter. But then on the top will be easier. Anyways, 72.5 on the top and then 0 0.4 on the bottom. And we multiply. Technically, I'm not lining up with a decimal point. It just happened to be they have the equal amount of decimal places, one right here and one right here. But I need to make sure it's lining up toward the right, like this. And we'll multiply. 4 times 5, that will be 20. So I have the 0 right here and then 2 right here. That's a 20. And then 4 times 2 is 8. 8 plus 2 is 10. So let me write down the 10 like this. 1 and 0. And then we have 4 times 7, that's 28, plus the 1, that will be 29. So it seems that we have 29, 0, 0, but then this is the trouble that we have to worry about. Here we have one decimal place, so this is, let me just indicate one decimal place, DP stands for decimal place. And here, the 0 0.4, we also have another decimal place. For the final answer, we have to add up how many decimal places do we have all together? 1 plus 1. We need to have 2 decimal places. This is 2900. Originally, the decimal point should be right here, but I had to move once, twice to the left. I indicate the decimal point right here. We need to have 2 decimal places. Okay? So the answer is the whole number 29. x is equal to 29. Therefore, the 40% of 72.5 is 29. Answer choice C. That's it.